What is the secret to prayer? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 19 tells us on today's episode of the Hallelujah Huddle that we are to rejoice evermore, that we are to pray without ceasing, and that in everything we are to give thanks because this is the will of the Father in Christ Jesus concerning you and I. The secret to prayer is knowing that whatever you face, it's God's will, and that he hadn't left you somewhere because he forgot you. It's not like a parent who perhaps takes their child with them into a crowded shopping mall and then all of a sudden the child gets uh, uh, separated from the parent. No, God's eyes are constantly on you. You are never anywhere without his consent and without his knowledge. Did you catch that? So we're told here in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 19, to rejoice evermore. Hey, take it in stride. Know that God is with you and that you aren't by yourself. Where you are is where he has you and that you can trust. It also says pray without ceasing. That means to be in an attitude of prayer. No, you're not gonna be like a monk, all day long. You're gonna be in an attitude of prayer where your thoughts are constantly towards heaven, where you're asking God for the strength to deal with the traffic. You're asking God for the strength when you accidentally cut yourself and you're shaving, you wanna cuss. When you need the strength to deal with these bad kids. When you need the strength to deal with this boss on your job. When you need the strength to deal with this woman that's got her bust out and you're tempted to look. That's why you ought to stay in an attitude of prayer or in a season of prayer without cessation or without stopping. Because this is the will of the Father in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is Andre Battles, and this was another Hallelujah Huddle inspiration for today. Will you be blessed? The choice is up to you.